Hi, Puerto friends. Welcome or welcome back to my Chanel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been so busy with grad school and my two jobs, but I've missed you all so much. And I also want to say thank you and welcome to our brand new Fuerte friends. I want to give a shout out to everyone who has shown love to my Rihanna costume and who has entered into my giveaway and I know we have some new for it to friends here so welcome and thank you so much and I'm so excited to be back and to continue my fighting fat phobia series and today we're going to talk about something I actually wrote one of my midterm papers on I got it and that is fat phobia at the doctor's office. I bring this up in a few of my other videos. Of course, we know that BMI is a scam. It's been used for centuries and I don't know why we just don't retire it. We know that it's inaccurate. As a matter of fact, I think it's really lazy that the medical industry is just relying on this old ass chart that's only based on your height and your weight. If you want to learn more about the BMI and how whack it is, watch my old YouTube video. I talk about how it was made by this old white guy. It's only based on your height and weight and it's just all wrong. So when you go to the doctors, don't ever fucking believe that shit ever. That being said, I bring this up in my other YouTube videos too, but I wanted to make a specific video to tell you all that you do not need to be weighed at the doctor's office. That's right, you do not need to get on that weighing scale at all when you go to the doctor's. Yes, you heard that right. You absolutely do not have to get on the weighing scale at the doctor's office if you do not want to. I've learned from my past experience and research that being weighed at the doctor's office actually gives women specifically so much anxiety that we avoid going to the doctors. We cancel our doctor's appointments, which is extremely dangerous. And it's also not how your experience of going to the doctors should be. You should feel comfortable going to the doctors. You should trust your doctor. You should feel safe going to the doctor physically and mentally. So when you go see your doctor and you do not want to get on that weighing scale, here are some things that you can do. When you check in, you could request for them to tell the nurse that you do not want to be weighed for the sake of your mental health. That way, when the nurse gets you, they could just walk you to the room or they could take your height and take you to the room right away. That's it. Of course, if you miss the chance to do that or if the nurse gets you right away or something, you could tell the nurse yourself. You could say, I do not want to be weighed for the sake of my mental health. Or you could ask them, can I be blind weighed? So you can turn around the other direction so you don't see the number on the scale. Or you could also tell the nurse to not tell you the number on the scale. Actually, a simple, can I not be weighed today, please? Should be all there is to it. But sometimes these practitioners are so used to this standard protocol because they do it for everybody and they've been doing it for a long time that there is some pushback. If there is any pushback for any reason, you could always give an estimate, you could always give a range, you could always describe to them how you know your body has changed or hasn't changed since the last time you've been to the doctors. You know your body better than anybody else. If your doctor has any questions about eating habits or physical activity or sugar intake, sleep, then they could just ask that. That number on the weighing scale has nothing to do with your health. Doctors and their offices should absolutely respect this request because your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Like the title of my midterm paper read, BMI is nothing but a number. So stop being weighed at the doctors. I know I'm gonna stop being weighed at the doctors. I stopped weighing myself in general. I haven't weighed myself in years. Um, and my life has just been so much happier and I 10 out of 10 recommend. I can't wait to do more research on topics like this in grad school and present them all to you. So for more body positive content, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you have already, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. All my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body.